Major Slack videos. Boy, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Resident Evil Village. So we have the crank. We can do a lot with this. Let's go treasure hunting. We're here at the gatehouse. We can open this door right here. Crank me up, baby. Now, in this area here is also where we're going to find the Magnum. But we're not going for that right now. Strategically, um, we should leave that for, for a little later. Well, a little later, what I mean by a little later is next video. Next video, rather. Um, right now, um, we're just going to do the easy stuff. There's a couple of crows here. All right, shoot down the crow. I don't know if you can see, you can barely see it. But it's not really that worth that much anyways. And, okay, so basically you're going up this side here, right? Go across the bridge and hit up this thing here and get the mermaid ball and that's it. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna do everything else later. Right now it's all about money. Money, 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 money. All right, so the mermaid ball can be used in this labyrinth right here to get that thing right there. So, plunk in your newly acquired mermaid ball. And this labyrinth is all about your control of the labyrinths. I'm just repeatedly pressing the rotate left button. For me, it's Q. For you, it might be something else. It will be something else, I <laughs> guarantee. Barely anybody ever uses uh, my uh, um, key bindings. Okay, and once you get it like over the water wheel and down to this part here, you're gonna tilt it to the left. Make sure you have it tilted towards you, right? So you just wanna get in this corner here, spin it around again, and you wanna pause in this corner here. As you can see, there's a break in the wall on this side. So we're gonna have to tilt it over to get the ball just barely around the corner and then tilt it back so it doesn't fall through that hole. And then, then you're good. Now it's just a matter of um, negotiating this little chicanery here, down there like that. And once you get to this point, you may want to spin it around twice so you can see it from the other side. Then down here, down here, and you're good to go. One of the easier labyrinths. The Chartreuse Skull. Cha-ching. All right, next, we're going back to the village. Once you get to the stream, hang a left. Go past the little walkway. Hang a left here, climb over the fence. And we're going to go to this side of this house here, all right? Grab yourself some goodies. And we can use the crank here. Crank me up, baby. Crank me up. By the way, um... There are two things that we are going to be able to upgrade when we get back to Duke. One is the ammo capacity for the 1911, and the other one is the ammo capacity for the W870 TAC shotgun. So what we ultimately want to do by the end of this run, okay, is empty out the 1911 and empty out the shotgun. So whatever ammo you have left in the 1911, that's all you're going to use. Whatever, whatever ammo you have left in the shotgun, that's all you're going to use. All right, so I've got 10 bullets left in the, in the 1911. We have two chickens here. You could chase them around with a knife. That's no fun. <laughs> hey, my feisty foul friends, it's time to play Dodge the Bullet. Uh, better, ne better luck next time. You'll get the hang of it. That's one down.
Come on, shooting chickens is so much fun. <laughs> All right, once you've done that, climb up the ladder, hang a left, go along this ledge here, this snowy ledge, drop down onto this roof, and open up this red chest. This will give you the pigeon blood red ruby. Pigeon ruby something. Yeah, the pigeon blood ruby. Grab that. Take a look at your jewels or your uh, your treasures, and you'll find that you can combine this with the necklace with two holes. Okay, so just combine that up right away so you don't forget. Okay, so we only have to find one more thing for that. All right, that's all we're gonna do here. Follow the blood trail back to the stream, and the stream up past the left side of the water wheel. After defeating Moreau, here we're back in the uh, the altar area with the Duke. Go back down here. We're gonna go to the graveyard, and we're gonna find two more animals here that have spawned. These goats here. Shoot them. That's one. I know this is excessive using a sniper rifle. But that's my weapon of choice. Use whatever weapon you want to use to take these two guys down. They give up two meat each. I prefer to use a sniper rifle. <laughs> and back up to the altar area. Now we're going to go straight past. Don't have to deal with Duke, yet, uh, Duke just yet. Straight down here to the Lone Road. Remember this drawbridge here? that we couldn't um, lower earlier, we can now lower it using the crank. Let's go do that. Down here, first right after you go down to the bottom of the stairs. Grab that and let's go for a boat ride. We can use this boat to go north and south. Both ways have something to do. Let's go south first. First thing you want to do is take a do a U-turn and we are now traveling south down, I think this river has a name. Eventually the name's gonna be revealed, I think. Anyways, go south down this river. There's only one river. And yes, the boat mechanics in this game are absolutely horrendous. I, I figured that that was the day they called in someone's nephew and said, okay, you can work on the boat mechanics. He said, okay, cool. I don't know anything about the game developing, but I could do that. Okay, and disembark here. Two ways we can go. We can go to the pond, and we can go up to a secret little tunnel up there. Let's go to the pond first. In the pond, you're gonna find a special golden fish and two other fish. Shoot them. Or, you know, if you're a masochist, try to kill them with a knife. <laughs> and the golden fish will give up the finest fish, which is a an ingredient that you need for the extra speed recipe, which we're going to get before the end of the video. Let's see if we get these other two fish here. In fact, before the end of the video, we'll have all the ingredients required to make every single recipe in the game. Okay, I got five bullets left. And up this way, there's a secret tunnel.
Okay, now here's the dealio. Like I said before the end of the video, we are going to have enough ingredients to make all the recipes in the game, all the remaining recipes in the game. Two of them are health increase recipes. Uh, I'm not sure if they stack, uh, like there's one that increases your health, like it just says increases your health, and then there's another one that says greatly increases your health. Regardless, you should not take both of these right away because each time you get a health increase, you get a free health refill. So in here, there are three ghouls that are going to pop up as soon as we take care of business on the other end there. This is the great time to just simply take them down with a knife. You may take some damage, it may be a little risky, but you're going to get a free re free health refill when we get back. So instead of expending bullets, use a knife. And let me just uh, shortcut this guy here. All right, so there we go. We're going to have the knife ready and the 1911 slot number two. I have five bullets left. That means I can spend three because we want to save two. Save two bullets or save them all and just do the whole, you know, whole thing with a knife. But I'm going to use three. All right, and I also have a shotgun bullet. Let's put that in slot number three. Okay, so that's what I got. Three handgun bullets, one shotgun shell, and the knife. <laughs> okay, let's do it. And down here, you get a whole bunch of ammo. It's really great. Flashbang, explosive rounds, mine, and other stuff. Antique coin, which we could sell, and an upgrade for the shotgun. Let's use that right away. Equip part. There we go. Shotgun upgraded. Got some ammo there. And that will clear this room. Don't forget to hit this computer because it may count towards um, collecting files. And I'll pause this so you can read this. And we're done. Okay, so now we got to deal with three ghouls going out. You could just speed run past them. Uh, but I'm going to take them out because, like I said, it's not going to cost as much. Okay, so basically, knife fight. And when you're fighting with a knife, don't forget that you can swipe twice and hit the block button. Just quickly tap the block button to reset the knife um, animation, as it were. So it's swipe, 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 block, swipe, swipe, block, swipe, swipe, block, swipe, swipe. You get it? Otherwise, you'd be doing it like this. See the pause there? Because the, the knife animation has to, to reset. So swipe, swipe, block, swipe, swipe, block, swipe, swipe. Got it? Okay, so let's start out with the pistol. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> See, they both came at me at once. <laughs> I take his on. I take his all on. I take his bomb with one hand behind my back. <laughs> Can't touch this. There, 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 there. There, there. Can't touch this. There, 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 there. And down you go. Still in the green. Your mileage may vary. Like I said, we're going to get a free health refill. Keep that in mind, so don't waste any of your meds. And we're good to go. And that's this area done. Slacks on the move in the crew can't touch this thing. Can't touch this thing.
All right. This area is done. If you got really, really dinged up and you're feeling nervous, what you could do is stop off at the docks here, go back to Duke and make one of the health, increased health uh, recipes, which will give you a free refill. All right, because you have enough ingredients to do that now. But um, I'm feeling good. So I'm just going to continue. So we're just going to pass by the, I'm going to call this the Lone Road docks. And we're going to go north now, past the suspension bridge and up to this area here. All right, disembark here. Once again, two places we can go. Um, this will take us down to, these red doors here will take us down to the River Bank Treasure House. And the other way, um, we can use the crank to get back to the craftsman's house where we can use the well wheel on the well and do something else there, all right? Um, let's do this one first. This is what you've been saving the two bullets for. Somewhat dangerous, but it's very doable. Okay, here's the dealio. If you can light this brazier, this door will open and there's a whole bunch of money in there. If you can light up this brazier, this door will open and in that hole right there, there's going to be an endless spawn of ghouls. When you kill one, another one will spawn. When you kill that one, another one will spawn. Why is that? Because you need the ghoul to solve this puzzle. What you eventually need to do is light up this brazier right here. And the way you're going to do it is you're going to light up this brazier by shooting this brazier and it's going to swing over, light that up, and then this door is going to open, the ghoul's going to come out, then you're going to lure him into this burning brazier here, all right? That will set the ghoul on fire. Once he's on fire, you're gonna lure him over here and get him to bump into this one, and that will set this on fire. When that gets us set on fire, these doors will open, and you get to get that stuff there, all right? Get all that? And after he's been burning for a while, you could just kill him instantly with a nice swipe, okay? So it's just a matter of, you know, not letting him um, attack you while you do all that. All right, we got two bullets left. The easiest way to get the brazier up there, to swing it up there, is to shoot it. You could do it with a knife, but it's kind of tedious. I'm just gonna use the bullets that I saved for this, especially for this purpose. So, up you go, lights it up, and this door opens, and we get all the money. Cha -cha 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 Be advised that this money does not count for clearing this area here, eh? So, um, you could actually miss it if the area is marked it blue and I forgot to show that. Anyways, okay, so same dealio here. We're going to shoot it. The breeze is, that breeze is going to get lit up. Door is going to open. Ghoul is going to come out. And then we're going to sucker him into bumping into this burning brazier here. And then we're going to lure him over there. That's the plan. Let's do it. Door opens up. There he is. Just simply stay on the other side of him. Just keep the brazier between you and him. And you could help it along here by kind of like... There we go, so we lit him up. He always drops his weapon when he gets lit up. Now in here, once again, keep yourself, keep this unlit brazier between you and him. Get him to bump into it. There we go. And that's it. Now block. Get you. 
and he goes down. That's it. This opens up, and we get the Golden Lady Statue. Thank you very much. And don't forget the Magnum Ammo here. And that's this area clear. Oh, wait a minute. This area is not clear. Handgun bullets there. And shotgun ammo there. That was clear. Alright. Let's go the let's go do the other puzzle. This is another crank job. Use the crank to lower the drawbridge. Done and done. Now we're back in the craftsman's house. Good time to save the game just in case you screw this up because there is a point of no return in this next puzzle. So if you screw it up, you want to have another chance. Even though there's an auto save down there, you know, just, just to be sure. Pretty sure there's an auto save down there. Okay, so um, at the well, this is what we. By the way, this craftsman's house, do you remember we passed this um, when we came out of Castle Dimitrescu? When we first came out of Castle Dimitrescu, we passed by here. And then we kind of got locked out. There was no way we could get back here. Now we can get back here, right? And we could use, at that point, we didn't have the well wheel, but now we do have the well wheel. So we can use the well wheel on this. And instead of bringing up a treasure or something like that, or a lockpick, brings up a ladder. Take the ladder down. Okay, as soon as you get to the bottom, look down, you're gonna find a lockpick there. Go in here. Turn to the right, and you're going to find a mine here. All right. Now, the dealio with this puzzle is we have to get in here. The only way we can get in there, because that's locked, is by jumping down through a hole up there. And we have to arrange all these platforms so that we can get to that hole up there. Let's go up top. Let's go up top, rather. Um, let me just make sure I got everything. We've got the lockpick at the bottom of the ladder. Mine to the right as you enter, and now we have to go up. And all of a sudden, Ethan can climb. Go figure, he can climb up like a three foot ledge. So, yeah, <laughs> when I first came here, when I first played through the game about a couple, you know, month and a half ago, I was like, what the hell? I was like, that, there's no way to go there, you know, because I just assumed that it was too high for him. But yeah, you can't go here. Up here. Up here. And once you get up here, don't forget the pipe bomb. And now we have to solve a little platform puzzle. Each light corresponds to a platform. It's it's arranged pretty intuitively. So these three lights here on the left side are these three platforms here, all right? If it's lit up green, that means the platform is up. If it's lit up white, that means the platform is down. So all we have to do is hit the top button. I hit the wrong one. Just make sure all three platforms are up on the left side and you want to raise that platform up there. See this center one? Raise that up like that. That's all you have to do. Once you've done that, make sure you go here to collect this shotgun ammo. That's four items you want to pick up because there's a point of no return here, okay? That's the hole we have to get down. Okay, so you got the lockpick at the bottom of the ladder, the mine as you enter, the pipe bomb, and the shotgun ammo. And once you're absolutely sure you got all those items, you can continue with the puzzle. First of all, we have to push this cart twice to move it over there. Okay, and push it again. 
and now we can push this cart over here and it's going to push it off the edge and down to the bottom. And now we can simply jump down on top of this cart and climb up here. All right. Make sure to grab these goodies here. And after getting all five of those items, this is the point of no return. Once you come to go down the hole, that's it. It's like, uh, you know. Okay, so that's it. Let's go down. And get a flashbang here and magnum ammo here. And most importantly, in this red chest, we get the other piece for the necklace with two holes. The large pigeon blood ruby. I grab that. And go to your treasures. Combine that. And now we have the Dimitrescu necklace, of which we can finally sell. That's why you made the necklace with two holes finally becomes the Dimitrescu Dimitrescu's necklace, and that should clear this area. Let's see, it's marked as blue, and that's it. We're done. That's it. Let's blow this popsicle stand and get back to town. And we're going to have to take the boat. Pretty sure. Let me just check this. I checked it before, but I only checked it before doing the puzzle. This is the path that we originally used to get back to town. Yeah, it's still locked. Yeah, okay. That's the path we originally used to get back to town after leaving Castle Dimitrescu, but it's locked now. So we'll have to take the boat. Alright, so that's it. We now have a lot of treasures. And what am I doing? And we have all the ingredients we need to make all the remaining recipes. Let's go make... Let's go make some money and have something to eat. Okay, back to the Lone Road docks. Okay. And there are no surprises on the way back to town, so just make your way back to town. By town, I mean back to Duke's, um, that little area there where Duke is. All right. Ah, oh, <laughs> my apologies. We are going to make a big chunk Please of change. Please do take a look at my new stock. No, no, no. You take a look at my new stock. Okay, so we have a crystal skull, the crystal Moro, the silver angel statue, the antique coin, Dimitrescu's necklace, which sells for a whopping fifty thousand lei. The the chartreuse lei, or the chartreuse skull rather, um, and the golden lady statue. Check that out. One hundred and fifty lei. Cha this Ching. Lord Burrows, I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. Check that out. We now have two hundred and fifty thousand lay. Your congratulations, you're quarter of a million lay in air. <laughs> or however you want to call it. Anyway, so you got a lot of money now. Um great time to save the game, but before you do anything, you should get this recipe here, this the Sarmal de Pest. We have all the ingredients to do this. Movement speed increases permanently. Definitely want that. I've had my eye. I can hardly wait. Just no point in waiting for moment. that. Here it is. Please 
Join me. I love the dinner bill sound. This is hilarious. Nom, nom, nom. There we go. Movement speed has increased permanently. Not a bad dish. Okay, so we can move around faster. I can hardly wait for the next ingredients. For what it's worth. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> wow, that was really great. I think it, yeah, it, no. I tested it when I first played through the game. It, you do actually move considerably faster. And if you got dinged up, like I said, you should take um, one of the health... Um, As you wish. Increases. Like this one here, you have enough ingredients to do both of them, but only only take them when you need to recover health because you get a free health refill. So here we go, health increases permanently and health greatly increases permanently. Like I said, I'm not sure if they stack because the it's really hard to tell. We will meet again. This green bar actually increases slightly when you um when you get all the uh once you've eaten all the recipes, it'll increase ever so slightly to about there. So it's really hard to tell if these stack, like, for example, if you increase health permanently and then you increase, greatly increase health permanently, does that stock stack on top of the previous one? Or is it just kind of like, you know, like it doesn't, like, let's say increasing your health Let's say normal health would be like 100. Increasing your health would be like 110 and increasing your health greatly would be like 130. So like one would be a 10% increase and the other one would be a 30% increase. Does it like, who knows? I don't know if they stack or not, but I always say them, I always take them separately for the free health refill. So I don't need to take, to take either one. So I'm not gonna take either one. I'm gonna wait until later on in the game, but your mileage may vary. And before you spend any money, I know you're dying to spend some money. Great time to save the game. So I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna spend some money first thing next video. Although, you know, you can do whatever you want. But I'm gonna save that for the first thing next video. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And if this walkthrough helped you out, hey, post a comment. I love to hear from my target audience. And don't forget, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot out of the press. All right, that was the easy treasure hunting. Coming up next is the difficult treasure hunting. Yeah, we're gonna get into some hellacious combat and we're gonna get the Magnum, right? That's what's coming up next. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.